December 26, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Maya. Hey, Nick, it's you. I'm glad Mr. Edgeworth made it through the day okay. It's a relief. Hey. Why'd you do that anyway? I don't know. I just know I had to do something. I don't know what the lawyer my sister was. I'm sorry. Well, you did save the trial. Just behave from now on, okay? Uh, uh, okay. Have you been questioned yet? No, not yet. Detective Gumshoe was here just now. He said, seeing as this is your first defense, we'll let you go after questioning. Um... I mean, she was accused of murder already, so... Oof. Oh, and he wanted me to get bail money ready. You can pay for me, okay? Huh? How much? I don't know. I guess I'll send you a bill or something. Why do I picture giant bales of money every time I hear the word bail? <laughs> That's cute. Any luck with Mia? None. I can't get through to her at all. I tried. I really did. I don't know what to do. I think I probably shouldn't have stopped my training. Hmm. Sounds like she really did do her best. I should check and see if there are any waterfalls in the local area. I wonder if I'll ever see my sister again. Oh, sweetie. She's so sad. Baby. December 26, Wright & Co. Law Offices. Sure is quiet here with nobody around. Right. I have to get Maya out of that detention cell soon. Can I get her out? I think I have to go somewhere else and then I can get her out later. December 26, Gold Lake Park, entrance. There are fewer than there were yesterday, but the cops are still around in the park. Gross. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe is here today. December 26, Gord Lake, Public Beach. I haven't seen Larry around today at all. Probably off paying through the nose on a date with the lovely Keyonce. Is this a beach? Like, I thought that part back there was like concrete or something. It's got a fence along it. I don't know, maybe, maybe that's sand? But why would you put a fence along if that's just sand? Doesn't make sense. December 26, Boat Rental Shop. Looks like the Boat Rental Shop is closed today too. Where is everyone? <laughs> December 26, Gold Lake Woods. Hey, Detective Gumshoe. Hey, pal. Trial today, it, uh... Yes, what about the trial? Oh, I was gonna say good show, but it wasn't really all that. So you did save Mr. Edgeworth, I guess. I just wasn't sure how to thank you, you know? Uh, thanks? Detective Gumshoe? Any idea what strategy Von Karma is planning for tomorrow? It sounds like he's bringing in another witness. Another witness? Oh, right, he said something about that in the trial today. There were two witnesses. I was wondering who that other witness was. Uh, who was it? S sorry, pal. As much as I'd like to, I'm not at liberty to, liberty to divulge that information. But just some... It feels like that's a bit, bit of a big word for Gumshoe to use. I don't know. I mean, divulge, I don't know, I think he would say, I'm not allowed to tell you that, instead. 
of I'm not at liberty to divulge that information. <laughs> right. Alright, I wanted to ask you something about Edgeworth. What's up? Is he afraid of earthquakes? I never heard anything about that before. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't talk about himself too much, see? But there's one thing that's clear as day. Him hating crime the way he does, and him becoming a prosecutor, and him being scared of earthquakes. It all started with that incident. The DL6 incident? Yep, that's the one. Fifteen years ago today, when he saw his father shot before his very eyes. He still feels the pain now, you can see it in his eyes. I wanted to talk to you about Maya Faye. Huh? She's not out on bail yet? That's strange. I told them to let her go as soon as they had their report written up. Man. I don't know what would have happened in that courtroom today if it weren't for her. Seeing her getting dragged up by the bailiff? I'll be honest with you, pal. I shed a tear or two. Mr. Edgeworth, he was so moved I saw his lip trembling. Really? Cold as ice Edgeworth? I was really grateful for what she did, you know. I'm gonna head back to the station. I'll get the report on Maya and get her out of there as soon as I can. Thank you. Oh wait, um, I was wondering how much is Vale going to be? Don't worry about that. Mr. Edgeworth is posting the whole amount. What? Edgeworth? Didn't I tell you? He's grateful to her for what she did. Alright pal. Oh, don't forget to go pick her up, okay? Hmm... Maybe I can get Edgeworth to pay this month's rent, too. December 26th, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Hey Nick, you finally came! I just finished the paperwork, I'm free to go. Free at last, eh? Those interrogators were really mean. They were like, okay, so what did you do this time? Like I was some kind of criminal, can you believe it? Well, they let you out in the end, didn't they? Hmm. Oh, that reminds me, thanks for bail. Thank Edgeworth. Huh? He posted bail for you. Said he was grateful for what you did. Mr. Edgeworth did that? I have to make it up to him. We've got to win this case, Nick. What do you think we should do next? I'm kind of lacking in the clues department. If you go to the park and look for Gordy. I was kidding. Still, if there are any clues out there, the park's as good a bet as any. What do you say? Shall we head down there? Sure. Have you noticed anything lately? Hmm... You know, I did notice one thing while I was here in detention. It's really pretty comfortable here. It's warm and they keep it very clean. I meant, if you notice anything about the case. Well, not much more than that, no. She's probably still upset about Mia. I should leave her alone. December 26th, Gold Lake Park, entrance. There aren't many cops around today, are there? They're probably back at the precinct working up the case against Edgeworth. Hmm. Hey, y'all. Hey, it's Lotto. Y'all really did it today. What do we do now? No, I'm not complaining. See, I did a little thinking. A little self-reflection, you might say. I realized that being a witness is a mighty big responsibility. I just went up there and started blabbing any old thing that came to mind. Lotta. So you see, I want to make it up to y'all. Make it up? What did you think of the trial? To be honest, I was doing it half just to say I'd been a witness. Even though I didn't really see anything. I kind of convinced myself I had though. I'm sorry, I know I caused y'all a lot of trouble. Well, memory is a tricky, vague little thing. Yeah, I sure know that now. I'll be fine the next time I witness a murder. Right. 
I mean the first time you witness a murder. What about Gordy? Rat! Well, the way I figured, the trial's only stoking the flames of Gordy fever. I'll get my exclusive photos and rocket to start him. Alright, Lottie, you go, girl. Wish I could be an investigative photographer, too. Finish your spirit medium training first. Lotto, what do you mean by making it up to us? Well, you see... Actually, I got a bit of information for you. What? That Von Karma didn't want me to say nothing about it. What information? Now we're getting to the heart of it. See, I reckon we might be able to do ourselves a little exchange. Uh, exchange? Um, I thought this was to make it up to us. Right. I propose a little exchange to make it up to you. What? Information don't come cheap, my friend. Uh... Hey! I see you thinking, my, how unsophisticated these southern folks are. It's written all over your face. Let me tell you, most southerners are way more sophisticated than you. I'm just the exception, okay? Well, what will it be? We got a deal or not? Wh what do we do, Nick? We don't have any other leads, so I don't think we have a choice here. Okay, how much? Huh? You completely off your rocker? I may not be sophisticated, but I'm not trying to rob the poor. Huh? The only fair exchange for information is... Information! Listen good. What I need from you is information about Gordy. What? Whoa, whoa, Gordy? But, but Gordy doesn't... I mean, Gordy might not exist. Then bring me proof that shows he don't. Uh, I'm keeping watch from the car, okay? You see something, y'all come to me first, got it? Uh, okay. Right, see y'all later. Okay, Nick, let's get hunting. Hunting? You don't seriously mean... Gordy, I sure do. What about Edgeworth? We're searching for Gordy for him, Nick, don't you get it? Okay, and how exactly do we search for a make-believe monster? Maybe we can find a monster myth specialist? Oh, a monster myth specialist. Monster myth... Uh, bleh. You know what Phoenix was trying to say. <laughs> uh, we actually, uh... Need to get some supplies from the cops to find Gordy. So we'll head over there now. December 26th, Police Department. Criminal Affairs... Criminal Affairs. Division? Department? Location? Section? Hey there, pal. What's up? You look out of sorts. Wait, you didn't go and do something that's gonna hurt Mr. Edgeworth's case again. What do you mean again? Whatever, have a seat, pal. I'm here for you. I'm here for you if you need anything. Besides money, that is. How is the investigation proceeding? It's not, really. We have another meeting coming up. We're supposed to talk about Mr. Edgeworth's motive. His motive? See, Mr. Edgeworth's father died in the DL6 incident, and the guy who got the lone suspect declared innocent was the victim in this case. Robert Hammond. They're saying that's why Mr. Edgeworth shot him. Edgeworth never talks about his past. I bet they'll drag that out and hit him with it in court tomorrow, too. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. Gotta admit, doesn't look good, pal. Say, Detective Gumshoe, do you know Gordy? The monster down in Gold Lake? Not personally, no. Well, we're looking for it. Huh? Are you out of your minds? Eek! You got time to go wild monster hunting? How about doing a little questioning for me, then? Oh! D Detective Gumshoe is scaring me, Nick. I told Detective Gumshoe about the deal with Lotto. Nick! Try telling him sooner next time. Uh, sorry. I 
I say, pal. Sorry for shouting at you. Okay. I, Detective Gumshoe, will aid your search for Gordy. Huh? I'll learn you one of our newest secret weapons for finding evidence. Really? You can take whichever one you like. Okay, give us the goods. Hold on now, everything in due time. First, let me show them to you. These are our best and brightest. Introducing secret weapon number one, Missile. M m missile? He's a canine police dog, still in training. Missile, missile, here yeah, boy! Ruff. <laughs> here he is. Hey, he's cute! Look, Nick, cute dog! A cute dog. This will help us... how? Next, secret weapon number two, a fishing pole. Yeah, this is my own personal pole. Active gumshoe, we're looking for a monster. Yeah. How are we supposed to catch a whole sea monster with a fishing pole? Never know until you try, pal. Okay, this next one is the last one. No, please, I'm over already overwhelmed by our choices. Secret weapon number three, a metal detector. Here. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for something alive. Right. How are we supposed to find out with a metal detector? Hey, you never know. It might have been eating soda cans. Well, which will it be? Um... I can't make up my mind, Nick. They all seem so perfect. I can't make up my mind either, for the totally opposite reason. Oh, well, I suppose I can't hurt to borrow one of them. The one we need is the metal detector, oddly enough. Uh, so we'll be taking that. Can we borrow that metal detector? Sure thing, pal. I'm not sure what we're gonna find with this. Remember, you're hunting for a monster. Anything is possible. Anything. Metal detector borrowed from Detective Gumshoe. And we want to take that back to the lake. Thankfully, I already know where I need to go. So, this is a lot easier than it otherwise would be. December 26th, Gord Lake, Public Beach. W what's that? The, the Steel Samurai, Nick. Yo, Maya. Larry? What the heck is that? Oh, it's my girl Keonsi's idea. She was all, if you like, put this here, it would be like, really cool. Dude, she gave it to me along with the banner. Wow. That's really impressive she could find those for you. Well, she knows a lot of people. And that show is finished now, so she got them for free. Right. Yo, Nick! What happened with Edgy? Well, we made it through the first day in court, alright. I don't know how good our prospects are from here on, though. Huh. Hey, Larry, did you know Mr. Edgeworth's secret weakness? He's terrified of earthquakes. He acts like a little boy. Huh? That's weird. I don't think he was ever like that in school. No? Really? Well, we're only in the same class for a little bit. He transferred schools pretty quickly. Transfer? Right, when the DL6 incident happened. Doesn't look like Larry knows about it, though. Hey, Larry, when did you get that big thing? Huh? Oh, the big guy. I've had that for about a month, yeah. It's a big hit with the kids. Why wasn't it there yesterday? Huh? Huh? Oh, right. The, the compressor was busted. Compressor? Yeah, it's that little unit by my hot dog stand. That's what I used to put air in the Steel Samurai. It broke a little while ago, so I sent it in for repairs. Oh. And here I thought you'd inflated it by yourself. Okay, so where we want to take our metal detector is this direction, for some reason. December 26th, boat rental shop. It's always so quiet here. I wonder if the boat shop is closed for good. 
Well, with the motor on the lake and all, they're probably just taking a vacation till it blows over. I get it. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> N Nick, it's beeping. Metal detectors found something. I'm sure is loud enough about it. Whatever it is, it must be in those bushes. Go check it out, Maya. Why do I have to check it out? Nick! Look! Huh? An air tank? Huh. The valve looks broken. I thought it was Gordy. Maya, first of all, why would Gordy be in the bushes? And second of all, why would a metal detector react to a sea monster? Oh. Huh? There's something wrapped around this air tank. Looks like... a string of flags? Well, we might as well take it with us now that we've found it. It's heavy. Air tank of dubious value retrieved. December 26, Gord Lake Woods. Hey y'all! Well, y'all find anything out about Gordy? Uh, no, nothing. Well, keep moving. It gets cold out here at night time. It's a little chilly. I... I think I have to sneeze. Whoa, whoa! No, you don't! No sneezing! Watch you! Click, 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 click. <laughs> I told y'all, no sneezing! See? I said the camera to respond to things a little softer than a bang. It'd trigger on one of Karma's finger snaps now. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, sorry's nice, but what about my film? Nick, pay the lady. <laughs> <laughs> Sobs inside my head. I learned something in today's trial, that's for sure. Testifying is serious business. That's why I decided not to talk about that case anymore. Huh? Whoa, didn't you say you had information about the case? Tell us that, at least. Like I said, I'll trade it for the dirt on Gordy. What are you gonna do if Gordy doesn't exist? I'll quit being an investigative photographer. What? After all, I only have one photo to my name so far. Was it a good one? You bet. A UFO. Uh, a UFO? Anyway, if I can't get a career making photo this time around, then that's it. I'll quit and go back to school. Huh? So you really are a university student? Yeah, well, I'm taking a break for a bit. Right. Yeah, we just had that conversation. It didn't take it off for some reason. See? It's not ticked off. That's weird. <laughs> anyway, um, we don't have enough information to show it a lot of yet. We'll have to come back in a bit. Uh, I think if we show this air tank to Larry? What? An air tank? What about it? Larry, I wanted to ask you about this tank. Say, is this air tank yours? Why would I have a thing like that? Look, see how there's a string of flags around the tank valve? It's just like the string of flags around your still samurai there. M must be a coincidence. There are string of flags every strings of flags everywhere these days. L like elementary schools. A and used car dealerships. <laughs> look, look, why would I need an a tank anyway? You used this to inflate that, didn't you? I inflate what? What else? That big puffy steel samurai. N now, would, why would you go ask me a question like that? Looks like I hit the nail on the head. Right, right. Actually, um... See, the compressor I always use was in the fritz. So I tried using the tank to inflate it just once. And, uh, it didn't go so well. As I suspected. 
it didn't go so well? Uh, yeah. Do you think you could be a little more specific? C come on. Look, it's embarrassing, so I really don't want to talk about it. Tell us, tell us! Fine. Whatever, it's- it's like what I- it's like what I said, the compressor was busted. So I took the tank and tried to fill the samurai up with that. And then... Blam! The valve busted open and made this incredible noise. And that tank there took off like a rocket. And took my poor deflated steel samurai with it. I'm sure we can all see where this is going. What? Off into Gord Lake? Sure scared me out of my gourd, that's for sure. Um... So, the tank and the steel samurai you were trying to fill up flew away. What happened next? Well, all that, hap all that happened on the 20th or so. The 20th, a week ago. Now, as far as I could see, the tank went flying out into the lake. So I went out every night in a boat looking for it. I mean, fiancé gave me that still samurai after all. And when did you find it? Just the night before last. It flew way out there, it took me four whole days to find it. The night before last was the night of the murder. Sorry for not telling you, Nick. Actually, I was here on the night of the murder. But you see, I went home before midnight. So you didn't know about what happened? No. That's too bad. It's not all bad. We've solved one mystery at least. A mystery? Maybe we should go tell her. Hi, Lotta. Okay, that was what I was supposed to do. Do I have to talk, talk about Gordy again? Yeah, there we go. Well, Mr. Lawyer, I've got the info y'all need. Y'all got the scoop on Gordy for me yet? But, uh, there is no such thing as Gordy. W what? How can y'all be so sure? Really, Nick? Y'all got some proof Gordy don't exist? The proof that Gordy doesn't exist. Of course I have proof. No lawyer worth his badge would make a claim without the proof to back it up. Here's the proof that Gordy doesn't exist. Larry's air tank? What are y'all doing with an air tank? This is Gordy. Um, excuse me? What exactly are you saying, Nick? There's a stand near here, a hot dog stand. There's a giant inflatable samurai doll there. About a week ago, an idiot, who happens to be a friend of mine, tried to fill it. He used this air tank, and when the valve blew, the tank flew into the lake. Apparently it made a pretty loud bang when it flew. A bang? The tank, along with the still deflated samurai, fell into the lake. At the same time, a couple was taking a photograph of the lake. This photo. Wait. So, you're saying that Gordy is really the Steel Samurai? Well, that's a fine way to ruin a, ruin a gal's dreams. I'm sorry, Lotta. Nah, it's okay, you win. I'll give you your info like I promised. Poor Lotta. So, tell us this information you have. Promise is a promise, I guess. I overheard the cops around here saying something about the witness tomorrow. They said he's the caretaker of the boat rental place up the path here. Boat rental? There's someone there? I mean, it looks so deserted. Just an old guy, living all by himself. Y'all should go check it out. Thanks, Lotta. We will. Let's get cracking, Nick. Hold on. So something else? Yeah, the night of the murder. My camera clicked twice, you know. 
Wait, so you have another fo- so you have another photo? Well... Yeah, but there's nothing in it at all, just a lake. I figured it wouldn't be much use as evidence, so I kept it my to myself. Well, it might not be helpful at all, but... Here, take it! Second lake photo added to the court record. Bye now, y'all take care! Time for me to back up and leave. Poor Leto. It's all Larry's fault. The legend still lives on, I guess. The legend? Yeah, the legend of Larry, familiar to all, all who know him for any length of time. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Hmm. Someone should whip that butts into shape. Okay, so we have this second lake photo. Um... Which is useful because these photos happen to be type timestamped, so we have a bit more information about what was happening from the fact that that photo exists. Uh, it's not too useful just yet, but it will be. For now, we're going to go to the boat rental shop. December 26th, boat rental shop. Hey Nick, this is the boat shop that Lotta was talking about. You're right. Doesn't seem to be anyone around at all. Well, let's go check it out anyway. December 26, Caretaker's Shack. Um... Meg? That you? Eek! Hey, is that Keith with you? Where have you two been? I've been worried sick. N Nick, you handle this. Uh, I think I'll leave this one up to you, Maya. Meg! Y y yes I only made up your mind, have you? My, my mind? You'll run the pasta shop when I'm gone. P pasta Glad to hear it, glad to hear it. You make your old man proud. When you kids left the house, I didn't know what to think. How am I supposed to keep this place running an old man like me? Polly, the kids are home. Hello, hello, squawk! N Nick, what was that? A parrot, the one on that perch. Kate, y yes? I'll leave the wet noodle in your capable hands, Sonny. N Nick, what's the wet noodle? Uh, based on the available evidence, I'd say it's the name of his pasta shop. That's a relief, isn't it, Polly? Hello? Hello? Squawk? Yep. <laughs> That's not how sleeping actually sounds. It's more like... He fell asleep. I guess he's relieved. Wow, what an amazing parrot that is. Good morning. Hello. It ignored me. What? You forgot, Meg. You gotta call her name first. Her, her name? Bolly, how you been? Hello. Hello. Squawk? See? Neat. So the parrot's name is Polly. Parrot added to the court record. Too bad all she can say is hello. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, Polly can say lots of things. You just need to know the secret words. The secret words? Look, a little safe. Hmm. It's locked. We can't skip that animation of him waking up, which is annoying. Ack, my memory's gone worse of late. That's why I just tell everything important to old Polly here. Everything important? Hmm, I wonder. Polly, what's the number to the safe? 1228 Squawk? Oh, right. H hey, Polly, watch it, will ya? Heh <laughs> See, Nick? All it takes is a little clever thinking. And a criminal mind. 
Quick, Nick, write that number down. Hey, don't get me involved in your little heist schemes. Um, this is a boat rental shop, right? What are you talking about? This is the Palace of Pasta, the Wet Noodle. Sorry, now that you mention it, we haven't gotten many orders for spaghetti lately. All the kids come up and say, Yo, dude, we want to ride in one of your boats. That's why I keep them boats out there. Youngsters these days, darned if I understand them. I'm pretty confused myself. Nick, this isn't going anywhere. This old man is the witness tomorrow, right? We've got to find out some way of getting information out of him. Um, a pasta shop? Hey, yep, to think the wet noodle will live on when I'm gone. My father started it, you know, so that makes you two the third generation. Meg? Y yes Tomorrow we'll start with the secrets of dough tossing. D dough tossing? You two, Keith. Y yes You'll be the best pasta wrangler the West has ever seen. The pasta wrangler? The West? Isn't pasta from Italy? Meg. Y yes You know the best pasta's always been made west of the Rockies, don't ya? Right, of course, everybody knows that. Nick? Huh? How long do we have to keep up this all-in-the-family charade? This old man must know something about the murder. We're not leaving until we find out what that is. I think I need to show him some evidence, but I can't remember what. Uh, let's try this photograph. Look at this photograph. <laughs> Now listen here, Keith. Remember that tricolor pasta we were talking about? Our rainbow lioli. I forgot the last color we should use. Indigo blue. Indigo blue? That didn't seem to work the way I thought it might. That's what happens when the evidence doesn't mean anything, so clearly I picked the wrong thing. Uh, let me see, what else do I have? Ask about Polly. That's the same again. Um, Showing the photo of uh, Misty Faye, maybe? Nope. Okay, I'm not quite sure what we have to do to get him to talk. Maybe the badge? Aha! Is that a lawyer's badge? Y yes, it is. I don't believe it. This old guy is the first person to recognize my badge. No, he's not. We've had to show this badge to Lotta and to Edgeworth in this case, and they both knew what it was. <laughs> I get it. Huh? Yep. Got you figured out now. You're not Keith. Nick! Now's our chance to clear things up. Um, sir. No, I'm not Keith. And I'm not Meg, either. We're here investigating a murder that took place on this lake the other night. Please help us! Hmm, a lawyer, huh? Please, mister. Alright, I'll help. But on one condition. I don't know what my voice for this guy is, but it's sort of working. <laughs> well, what's that? This case is over and done. You'll run the wet noodle. Okay, we promise. N Nick, are you sure about this? Hey, anything to get this case solved? Also, who wouldn't want to eat Phoenix noodles? I guess so. That's my boy. Good for you. Good for you, Keith. Well, wait, didn't I just say... You too, Meg. Oops. You too, Meg. <laughs> y yes? <laughs> you bring a tear to your old man's eye, you know. Now, nah, what was it you wanted to know? Speak up, Polly. Hello? Hello? Squawk? 
Uh, now he's talking to the bird again. How can he talk to? How do we get him to talk to us? Um, I'm not sure if anything I just did was actually helpful. Let's try showing him the photo again. Oh, cool. Okay. Hurry up. I've seen this. Y you know something about this, sir? Okay, so you have to wake him up by showing him the badge, then you can show him the photo. Keith. Y yes? It's okay. You can call me Dad. D Dad, you know something about this? Hey, yo. The other night, out on the lake. Y yes, yes! I know all about that. I seen it. What? Tell us. Tell us what you saw. Well, I suppose. Since you're taking over the shop and all. Okay, now we can get some information. I forget the time, but it was pretty dark outside. Probably night. Yep. It was after midnight, but okay. Then I heard this bang, so I looked outside. And I heard another one. Bang. A little while later, this boat comes back. A young man walked by my window here. He was muttering something to himself. Yep. What did he say? Yep. I forgot. I'll remember tomorrow by court time, promise. We need to know earlier than that. You know what? Eh? Little Terry was just here. Terry? Hey, yep, that kid next door. You always used to make him cry, remember? He was wearing this tattered old coat. Got himself some whiskers growing out his face. He must be talking about Detective Gumshoe. He comes up and tells me to come down to court tomorrow. Really? Somehow I don't think I'm gonna get much useful information from this guy. Maya, maybe we should be leaving. I think you're right. Oh wait, I have one more question. Huh? Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Squawk? Don't forget deal six. Squawk? H huh? What did she just say, Nick? One more time, Polly. Don't forget deal six. Squawk? What? The deal six incident? Hey, mister. I mean, dad. This is getting weird. Who is this old guy? Why would that bird Polly know about Deal 6? I have to figure out who that old man is. Oh. What? He locked the door from the other side. Who could that old man be? I think I need to do a little more research on this Deal 6 incident. Maybe I should ask Detective Gumshoe. December 26, Police Department, Criminal Affairs. Hey pal, long time no see. You don't look so happy. What's wrong this time? I actually wanted to ask you something. Yeah? You know the boat rental shop down at Gord Lake? Oh yeah. The old man who runs it is appearing as a witness in court tomorrow, right? Huh? How'd you... hmm. That was supposed to be top secret. Do you know who that old man is, Detective? Actually, I don't. He's a bit of an odd bird. I haven't been able to get a straight answer out of him. I decided first that he wasn't persuasive enough to stand and testify as a witness. That's why we called Ms. Lotta Hart yesterday. As for who he is, we have absolutely no idea. Hmm. Sounds suspicious. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe, please help us. Uh, huh? We need to know about the DL6 incident. That was when Edgeworth's father died. I can't help but think this is, that it has something to do with this current case. To tell the truth, I don't know much about DL6 either. Mr. Edgeworth forbade us from reading the file. So, I'm afraid I can't show them to you either, pal. What? 
However, if you can convince me somehow that the L6 incident is related to this case, well, I guess I'd consider opening the file up. Um... Well, this parrot knows about DL6. Is that convincing enough? Sure, it is a point, pal. I'm drawing a blank. Sorry, i the parrot. What's that? A parrot? The old man at the boat rental shop's a parrot. The parrot knew about that incident. That incident? DL6. What? Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Squawk? Don't forget DL6. Squawk? <laughs> huh? I'm pretty sure that old man must have taught her that word. Yeah, but how would that old man know about the DL6 incident? Wait, what if... What if that old man was connected to DL6? Nick, Nick, you think he might be? I mean, obviously. Why else would his parrot say, don't forget DL6? <laughs> I get ya. Sounds like you need information on the DL6 incident. Through there is the station's records room. I'll give you special permission to go in and find what you need. Alright, way to go, Detective Gumshoe. Okay, Nick, to the records room. I guess it's time we faced Edgeworth's past. December 26, Police Department, Records Room. Wow. It's amazing. Lee Dusty. <laughs> ten years of files and ten years of dust, I guess. Let's find that DL6 stuff quick. Fifteen years ago, both me and Edgeworth were nine years old. We were almost through with fourth grade when he suddenly transferred. Because of DL6. Nick, I found out where the file is. Uh, oh, thanks. Just let me know what you want to know about the Dale 6 incident. I'll go get the right file. Well, first I have to get a handle on the main facts, like a summary. Right. Summary, summary. Found it. Here you go. December 28, 2001. That's exactly 15 years ago from the day after tomorrow. So in two days, the case is closed. The incident took place in the elevator of the District Courthouse. What? Is this the same District Courthouse where we're holding the trial now? Looks like it. There was a large earthquake at 2pm on that day. Part of the court building collapsed and all of the lights went out. Wow, that was some earthquake. At the time, three people were trapped in the elevator. It took five hours for them to be rescued. Five hours? That would be scary like that in the dark. There was a lack of oxygen in the elevator, and the survivors were unconscious. The survivors? One of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. That was Mr. Edgeworth's father, wasn't it? that his father was shot before his very eyes. So Miles Edgeworth was one of the other passengers in that elevator. Do you have data on the victim, Edgeworth's father? Yeah, hold on. Victim, victim, here, found it. Gregory Edgeworth, 35, defense attorney. If he was still alive, he'd be 50. He had lost that day's case in court and got in the elevator with his son, Miles. Miles? Miles Edgeworth, of course. So he was in the elevator with his father? With his father? I mean, we just found that out in the previous part, so... Whatever. From the angle of the bullet and other evidence, it could not have been a suicide. A murder weapon, a pistol, was found in the elevator. The pistol had been fired two times. Where have I heard that before? Huh. Sounds just like this current case. What's going on here? Got any data on the suspect in there? Hmm, that would be the guy that my mum got arrested. Hold on, this is it. 
The man arrested as a suspect in DL6 was Yanni Yogi. He was a clerk, clerk, who's a clerk in the court apparently. So he must have been the third person in the elevator. Well, then he had to have done it. But he was found innocent thanks to his defense lawyer, Robert Hammond. Hammond. Hammond, the victim in our case. Right. Suspect Mr. Yogi was oxygen deprived, so much so he had brain damage. He lost all memory of being in the elevator. After he was declared innocent, he disappeared. Hmm. Where could Yogi have gone to, I wonder? Maybe closer than we think. I guess I know generally what happened in DL6 now. I still don't know what sort of impact the whole thing had on Edgeworth. Nick! Are we going to take the whole file? There's too much. We'll never get it out. Y you're right. How about we just take what we think we'll need? DL6 case file added to the court record. Right. That's probably all we're be, we'll be able to find here. Now, all that's left is the trial tomorrow. I wonder how Dad will do testifying in court. To be continued. And that's it for this part. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Uh, next time, Turnabout Goodbye's Day 3 trial. Um, so yeah, that's pretty exciting. Um, hope you, hopefully you're getting an idea of where the case is going and you're having fun figuring things out as you play along with me. Or, you know, watch me play the game and watch along and... It's pretty much the same experience as actually playing the game, honestly. Because it's just basically a visual novel. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and... Bye!